Here's a trimming demo from my four session pottery course. Trimming is a crucial step in the process of making wheel drum pottery. Here's a step by step guide to the pottery trimming process. Before trimming, the pottery should be in the leather hard stage, which means it's firm enough to handle but still moist enough to be carved or trimmed. Trimming tools commonly used include loop tools, a rib, and a needle for marking. To start the trimming process, place the piece upside down on the wheel. Ensure the pot is centered by gently spinning the wheel and adjusting the pot until it spins without wobbling. This step is crucial for even trimming. Once the pot is centered, use small clay pieces to secure the pot in place. Then gently press these pieces against the pottery to hold it steady. Use a loop tool or a short form to start trimming the excess clay from the base. Begin at the outside edge and work inward. Trim carefully to create a leveled and even surface. To create a foot ring, I like to use the square side of my small trimming loop tool. I create a circle on the center of the pot. I then widen the circle by moving my tool to three o'clock, creating a raised ring. The height and shape of the foot ring can vary depending on the desired style of the pot. To remove any excess clay to balance the pot's weight, continue trimming the sides and bottom, refining the shape of the pot. Here, I'm removing clay from the side to continue raising the foot ring. By following the steps, you can create beautifully trimmed pottery, ready for the next stages of the ceramic process. Trimming is a skill that enhances the quality and aesthetics of your work, and with practice, it becomes a satisfying part of the pottery making journey. Don't forget to use a rib or a sponge to smooth out the trim areas. This helps achieve a more professional and polished look. To learn more about trimming techniques and other essential skills in pottery, sign up for my upcoming pottery course. Link in bio.